Hey guys, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. The people from 49 Seeds kindly reached out to me and said that they, you know, like my content and want to invite me down for what is essentially a tasting, which makes me very, very nervous. Because what usually happens during tastings is that, you know, people come down, people take pictures, insta stories, and you know, they say like, wow, whatever. But for my friends, the people who know me, you know that I cannot do that. I really cannot. It's not because I don't want to lie to you guys by saying that something not nice is nice because I do that all the time. So this actually turned out way better than I expected. Mm. But I don't know how to explain it. Like I have just such a respect for food that not 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 not, to, not that you know it's, it's wrong to do this, but I just have such a respect for food that I I just cannot do it. Lah. So if it's not nice later, I'm waiting for my food to be served. If it's not nice later, it'll be very very awkward. On one hand, I want to give you guys the, the most honest review. On the other hand, this is as good as you know going into someone's house and they treat you to eat stuff and you just tell them like you eat already and put like you know very nice. It cannot be right. You at the very least must be like mm, not bad. Da, 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 da. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, I have never. I have actually never done this before. And every place that I vlog so far, you all guys know that it's it's kind of it's already well established. And that way, I like prevent myself from like you know meeting bad food and then have to having to vlog it. So yeah, uh, you know you don't know about all that. Outlook wise, as you can see, you see the backdrop behind me. It's actually quite nice that I have this seat because like there's a uh, 49, which is like wow, what a frame, what a frame. And they have this like whole industrial thing going on, wire hanging from the ceiling and all this silver, really trippy. Uh, I don't even know what I call it, utensils, which is kind of cool. Uh. But one thing I found quite fun is like, I, I'm not sure whether it's like chic or like names. They have menus stick all over their wall as though like, you know, just in case you don't know what to order, it's just right there. But, but, but looking at the actual menu, they have their Tom Yum Seafood Pasta, which is their signature dish, very, very well known. Probably their standout dish. And then there's this Tom Yum Salted Egg Seafood Pasta with Chicken Cutlet. I mean, I have to order that. Uh. Also, they have something called for level 49 spicy, which like is your spicy challenge. Uh. I I'm never a fan. I think like why do you, do you like pain? I mean, even if you like pain, like take it somewhere else. Uh. don't take it on your foot. Uh. you know what I mean? But for those people who like like hurting themselves, knock yourself out, literally. I also ordered a coconut float, sort of fit with the whole Thai theme. Since I'm having tom yum, might as well you know chat to chat it up. And also a bolognese chili cheese fries. So yeah, now time to wait for the food. I really really hope it will be good. If not, it will be so good. It's so awkward. It will be so awkward. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Okay, so I have the bolognese cheese fries. Bolognese cheese fries. Bolognese beef chili cheese fries. Uh, the chicken chop, salted egg, tom yum pasta. <laughs> and the seafood pasta. And oh, I need a drink man. I don't know what it's about today, but it took damn long for the photo. I like coconut. I think it's a very elegant fruit. The taste is very mellow, very uh, very pretty. Is it is it weird to say a flavor is pretty? But yeah, I think so. So they are called 49 seeds because there were 49 seeds at 49 and, and they were located at 49 Kreta Aya Road. Quite cute, uh, but obviously if you look at the place now, it's more than 49. What I love is that when I smell like that, right, I smell like this is very strong uh, Herby taste like lemongrass and uh, curry leaves. Okay, give it a try. Wow, please be good, eh? please be good. This very clever, really very clever. Although it's a pasta, although there's cream at the very base, right? I really, really love that. There's that herb, that that herby note. That's lemon. I love lemongrass. And tom yum has to have lemongrass, and it's very, very sour. Which makes it very appetizing. As for the heat, uh, this is the regular one. That means I never add heat, uh, like you know, top up the heat or anything. It's very very mild. I want to say this is like xiao la. The whole pasta sauce is like a creamy tom yum soup. Really really nice. Wow, heng ah, lucky it's nice ah. It's good, it's good, it's good. Now to try the fries. I want to leave the best for the last. But I think this like honestly monstrosity is very very curious to me. Beef chili cheese fries. Beef chili, beef bolognese chili cheese fries. Oh, wow, this is sins. Uh. And they have like chili party inside. Are they mad? Chili does not 
literally means chili. For those people who don't know, chili cheese fries doesn't mean chili cheese fries. Chili in the west side is chili. Picture. They have mayonnaise. This is mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. It's some sort of salad thing. Spring onions, cheese, and chili padi. And chili. Try. There's a lot of fries here. It's like. Wow. Okay, try. I'm impressed. Wow. Am I just easily impressed today? The fries itself, the fries itself are just regular fries. Which I don't hate. Regular fries are still good fries. But what I like is that, right? There's this very Eastern, very Asian spring onion plus chili powder thing going on, right? But at the same time, there's this like Bolognese, Western, tomato y thing going on. The whole flavor is very East and West. Eh? <coughs> I actually really, really like this. This spring onion and chili powder thing. Wow. I might just steal this for myself. Okay, now to the last one. Absolutely insane. Tom yum plus salted egg. My experience tells me that this will be this insane. Uh, you will have too much going on already. But one way to find out. Dive straight in. Uh. The salted egg uh, is not mixed with the sauce. They, 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 like, they mixed it unevenly. So this is just, I, I believe, this is just the tom yum pasta. Then they like put the salted egg unevenly. Uh. Give this a try. It's nice this season. It's still a good pasta. When you eat it, like that, it's delicious. The chicken chop is well seasoned. But right, there's just so much going on. Tom yum and this is the first time, right? This is the first time I've ever had a dish, right? That asks salted egg yolk, right? To cut me inside. Ask the salted egg yolk to like take a supporting role. The tom yum is nice from this one. The salted egg is uh, decent. It's not the best salted egg I ever had, but it's like a very almost mellow, you don't really have the, the very sinful, indulgent heat that you go, you eat salted egg for. It's very strange because like, you kind of have two really really powerful flavor profiles and you are trying to have them together. It's like when you hang out with your friends, right, and two of your very very good friends try to talk to you at the same time. Then you have the whole conversation, like, two-sided. Yeah, hi, how's your day? Uh, ah, yeah, 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 uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Man, I'm confused, man. I'm confused. I'm really confused. I don't know if I like it. I say so much already, I don't know if I like it. This is why I tell you guys I cannot do that thing. You know, the, the thing, that thing, man, that thing. This is the thing. The one that I hate most, right, is that, is that they decided that they like it, right, before they put it into their mouth. I hate those, man. At the very least, right, you should have, like, one second to react, right? Next, okay, you all do this exercise. Next time you all eat something, right? Then you you, you you see how long, right, it takes, right, for you, the flavor to actually be appreciated. Even if I know I like this cheese fries, right? Which I do. I have to eat it, right? One second. I have to actually bite it and taste it and, like, let my mouth, like, before I get the flavor, right? Some people are, you can see those promo video ah. Mmm, like, I can not what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I digress, I digress. Okay, very full, I had finished three dishes. What I will say is that, overall, I like this place. The prices are not steep, and the, min the menu right, is predictable. When I come to eat, when I want to only spend like 10, 20 dollars on western food right, I, want, I, I don't want to be surprised, I just want value. I just want a, a pasta and a chicken chop. I just want a fish and chips, like a proper fish and chips. I like don't have to do fancy lemon butter, all the nonsense, uh, but like something predictable. And I really appreciate that. Of course, it's a bonus if you can have one Sao Pai Chai, like our signature dish, like the Tom Yum Pasta, that, you know, gets people coming in. But overall, I want a, I, I want a predictable one. You know, sometimes you see in Kopi Diamond, right, there's like, the, the Kopi Tiam, right, they sell like 12, 15 dollar steaks. Then, wow, different shade, New Zealand, flown in, like... I, I, I don't go to a Kopi Tiam in quality steak. I want a 8 dollar, go one pasta, and go one chicken chop. And then do it well. 
do it such that I won't mind eating it every day or you know every three times a week kind of thing like uh, office lunch or something like that I think it's a obviously very western menu with uh, Asian influencers here and there tom yum, chili padi, lemongrass so yeah overall I like it that's all I have for you guys this time like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video